first tonight at 5 o'clock, new evacuation orders for people living in the path of the Cameron Peak Fire in Larimer County. There are fears that this fire could race through Colorado State's mountain campus. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Karen Lee. I'm Alan Janae. Good to have you with us. CBS 4 News at 5 is also streaming live on CBSN Denver. This fire is burning west of Fort Collins. It has already burned two dozen homes to the ground. Now the new mandatory evacuation zone encompasses a large swath between the burn scar and Fort Collins. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas is in Larimer County right now. Let's go to him. And Dylan, homeowners have to be worried. Alan, we spoke with some today who are now living in hotels here in Loveland because they were evacuated. They tell us they have been listening to the scanners by the hour, following the progression of this blaze as it moves on. For the first time today, we gained access to where the fire already rolled through, seeing charred land, charred buildings, and sadly, even charred homes. Just as many thought the Cameron Peak fire was under control, hundreds of people like Jeff Smith were once again asked to evacuate. When the winds kick up, it just like everything's burning again. Pingree Park and other areas were forced to evacuate Friday to hopefully avoid the destruction already seen by those like Smith. Yeah, I never sleep anymore. I just watch in the ridge line just explode. Much of the place he calls home, the Shambla Mountain Center. It's 600 acres of just the greatest place ever has already burned just a few hundred yards away from the building Jeff calls home is a sobering reminder of the gravity the danger and the proximity of this fire this building here all that's left of it millions of crumbling pieces I mean look at it thanks to firefighters the stunning stupa spared only by feet the firefighters are awesome as road closures and air attacks continue so do evacuations even as the fire rages on signs of life rise from the dead through the hard work of those on the front line and they saved so many buildings yeah it would have been so much worse smith hopes this will be the last time he has to leave the place he loves now we should note that this fire is only about 40% contained more than two months into the battle. Here in Loveland, it is currently raining ash more than 40 miles away from that fire. And at this time, we still do not have an answer as to what caused this fire. Reporting live in Loveland, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. All right, Dylan, thank you very much.